when we block the duct anywhere in the body, then the acute inflammation behind this block usually follows. It is a general principle and it also applies to the gallbladder. This is an example of the chronic fibroproductive cholecystitis with the superimposed acute inflammation or acute exacerbation of the inflammation. Clinically, it is usually associated with chronic cholelithiasis, where the gallbladder stone usually causes sudden obstruction of the outflow. So here we see the hyperplastic smooth muscle layer or lamina propria. Here we see the prominent fibrosis. And if we go closer, we can see that the mucosa of the gallbladder is mostly eroded. And the gallbladder is infiltrated by the acute inflammatory exudate. Here we see some hyperemia and small foci of the bleeding. And uh, here we see all of these cells, and those are actually neutrophils. We see multilobated nuclei of these cells. So this is a typical morphological sign of acute inflammation. Over the time, we would see less neutrophils and uh, more eosinophils, which marks the subacute age of the inflammation. The acute inflammation can be quite mild, or it can be quite prominent, and as in this case, and, uh, we would call this purulent um, cholecystitis. Over the time, the inflammation uh, can infiltrate the whole wall of the gallbladder, and it can spread. Uh, it can spread uh, to the adjacent tissues, and that would be called phlegmonous cholecystitis. Sometimes we can find uh, partial necrosis of the wall of the gallbladder which is not the case here, and uh, we would call it gangrenous cholecystitis. So this is an example of uh, acute exacerbation of chronic fiberproductive cholecystitis. Thanks for watching.